And I, I should say that beyond the community where, where we've, you'd sort of expect support in Seattle, we've also had enormous attention from NBC, from ABC, from NPR, from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, from Time Magazine, the New York Times, the Los Angeles Times, hell, the international papers, Indian papers, The Guardian in London. It's a little 50,000 square foot building. I mean, this, this is not that uncommon. This is the most common office building in America in terms of its size. But because we dared to be different and tried to do something that would still be relevant at the end of its design life 250 years from now, we've garnered a great deal of attention and, and I hope it's going to be the cutting edge of, of a wedge of change in the construction industry. Called up Tom Schneider and, uh, and and had a conversation, you know, really kind of explain what this project was about, what we were trying to do, and the material and chemical constraints that we were up against. Living Building Challenge Red List is, is very clear about zero phthalates in the building. When we first reached out to Prosico to specify or to source uh, the fast flash system, we had used the product in the past, knew that it was incredibly um, resilient and uh, you know, from a, from a building envelope standpoint, just a, a great product uh, and was the type of product we needed to hit our, our air infiltration and, and water barrier uh, criteria. The problem was at that point, there were phthalates in the, in the product. I said, you know, we, we really like your product, uh, but for this project, it's, it's, it's just a no-go. We, we, we don't... Uh, we can't consider a product that has phthalates. And so we parted ways at that point. I would guess maybe four months later, I get a call from Tom Schneider saying, Joe, I think we've got something here. We've got, uh, we've, we've got a reformulated product. It's truly phthalate free. We've ran it through hundreds of hours of hurricane testing in the test chamber. And I'd love for you to come down and see the product uh, in, 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 in action. And so I drove down there and sure enough, it looked great. It was. It was, uh, it was really meeting all the criteria we were hoping that it would, and it was phthalate free. When we came across a company like Prosaco, who was prepared to take uh, all of the phthalates out of their products, uh, this was just a wonderful example of this, this theory of change that we have, of finding a product that is superb, does its job wonderfully within its niche, accomplishes stuff that is really good for the world and that can be built upon. And it was really useful to us as a philanthropy because our typical model would have been a grant to the Washington Toxics Coalition to go down to Olympia and convince the legislature to ban this stuff from an application like yours. You probably would not have received that with incredible enthusiasm as, as much of a environmentalist as lobbying the legislature to constrain your business. But, but when we send out a charming, articulate guy like Joe who says, we'd really like to buy this stuff, but it's got this ingredient, and can we work with you and see if there's some way to make that better? It, it, it lets us work together, and uh, the, the partnership that we were able to develop with you through Joe's charm and persuasiveness and your receptivity and creativity is one of, I think, the, the great things that came out of this building.